Hi, good afternoon, good afternoon, and very good afternoon. Beautiful day, another sunny day in Dubai. And uh, last two days, actually, I was uh, going through a lot of articles, a lot of uh, study I was doing about a certain expert of photography, and a uh, couple of things came into my mind. And, I came across while I was studying uh, the articles and different technical things. Uh, I have been uh, approached by some fellow photographers from from my country, and uh, they shared with me a couple of incidents that how uh, people, uh, professional people, are uh, behaving uh, with other professionals, which is kind of a sad especially over the social media forums it doesn't look good to be very honest uh, especially if you're a full-time professional unlike me I'm not a full-time professional photographer actually I'm not a photographer at all I call myself I'm just guy with another camera I'm just a clicker I just click photography is a big term anyways what exactly the agenda of today's video is very simple, which is the technology is evolving in photography. So it means that we have uh, the manual focus lenses, then we have screw drive, screw mount drive, drive lenses, then we have uh, uh, built in a motor, uh, uh, focus motor inside the lenses, then we have piezoelectric and the stepper motor, and you know and silent motors, uh, the lenses itself evolved so sharp, so great, edge to edge sharpness. Previously, oh, the old lenses were not that sharp. So technology help, uh, helping us to have a better image. I just mentioned about the transition from old manual focus lenses for today's uh, uh, today's mirrorless lenses which are fully designed and optimized for video which was not like 10 years ago or 8 years ago even 5 years ago it was not the concept that lenses were mostly designed for photography now since last 5 years uh, companies across the world are basically adopting this change from photography to videography and they are making the gears based on that so technology is evolving same goes for camera cameras were like film and then we transitioned to digital which was not welcomed by many film photographers over the period of long time then ultimately they were forced to switch to digital and digital area of DSLR we all know how it went it's still going on uh, and then there was a new era of mirrorless cameras which was again I was one of the guys who were not really comfortable with mirrorless cameras because I was not doing videos mirrorless cameras are all about videos their design their uh, mechanism their output the way they are optimized their lenses with they are designed and optimized are all meant for video so for even taking photos old DSLR all your lenses still valid but for video they are outdated that's for sure technology back in the days 10 years ago was not that much advanced they were not much they were actually not good enough to make to help us creating a good videos focus was missing and all that now the advanced autofocus system is so great actually it's so great that we don't have to worry about focusing at all we really don't we just have to point the camera into the direction and we have to just shoot shoot and shoot that's it but the agenda of today's video is, is this technology helping us creating good photographs or we are becoming more dumb and dumb the more technology is evolving the more dumb we are going as a photographer what I'm trying to say is that we are not seeing any iconic images 
which we used to have back in the days of the DSLR or the film era. Why is that? Why today photographers, regardless of the uh, gear you are using, Sony, Nikon, Canon, Pentax, Fujifilm, medium format, doesn't matter. Whatever you care you are using, and especially latest and greatest, because most of the photographers still believe that that latest is the greatest. You have to, you have to keep up your gears with the latest in order to compete into the market, to get the work, to get the business, uh, because it will help. And uh, especially like high autofocus, high megapixel camera, which are worse for low light. And mostly people are shooting uh, the event photographers in low light. And still they are buying the high megapixel camera just to impress the client. Oh, we have having 61 megapixel camera. Oh, we have 50 megapixel camera. We can take better photos of you. Man, what kind of logic is this? I, I really don't understand why people are becoming why the photographers are becoming so dumb why and then actually uh, answer is very simple but of course uh, for the sake of argument everybody has their own reasoning but the reality is photographers are becoming dumb and dumb we are not seeing any iconic images we are not seeing any impressive work no we are not seeing images like the tank man the famous tank man image just google the tank man and you will see the iconic image of the tank man that one guy was standing in front of the tank army of tanks it was taken from old film camera old manual focus lenses or Afghan girl of course everybody knows Afghan girl image from Jane, uh, uh, Steve McCurry uh, they are countless I was going through an article the uh, top 20 f iconic images of all time and you know what's the number one image the number one image I'm not talking about number of likes because that social media is total stupidity. It's total stupidity. And stupid people makes uh, made this social media hyped up. That's the reality. So according to the study, the number one iconic image uh, was uh, the man on the moon. That's the number one iconic image in history of human. I will put the link uh, into the description of this video you can go and check by yourself there's a list and uh, Afghan girl was also there it was like 11th or 10th or 12th in the list uh, Einstein image was he was standing and thinking that image was uh, took by Ernhast which is my favorite street photographer I love that guy work and there are more but again all those images have their huge story behind they were meant to be taken to tell a story to tell something which take you back to time even if you see those images today in 2022 as I'm recording this video which is July yep July 31st 2022 and you look all those iconic images you just copy paste from that list which you will find in the description uh, that link from you copy paste and Google and you will see those images and then you will see why those images were so iconic they were taken at a time which tells you so much about the incident so much about the place so much about the person who is photographed but now we are not saying anything like that why Technology is evolving and evolving and evolving. It should help us create iconic images. I have taken like 100,000 images so far in last 10 years. And I, I say I 
out of those hundred thousand plus images my worthy images most probably 10 only 10 that's what I think like I, if I want to present my work to someone else like to some senior photographer or I want to present my work at an international level I cannot choose every single image I have to carefully choose the best image from the list from all, all those hundred thousand and it shouldn't I don't think I can make even 10 why because I don't have any iconic image I don't have much I didn't push myself much and if I did which I did few times I really end up having some great image some really great image so why so again back to the question why the technology is evolving but photographers are becoming dumb and dumb and the answer is very simple technology makes us lazy that's true now I don't want to use that term, but now every Tom Dick and Harry are buying the camera and they think that okay it's all out of focus and it's the latest and greatest high megapixel I can go and shoot anything or anybody and I call myself a pro they none of them all those newcomers and I'm specifically targeting the newcomers why because they are not only ruining the business of photography but they have no clue about the light shadows how to use shadow to tell a story my previous videos I was sitting down on the chair over there and in the in the street light or no, no, not the street I'm sorry in the in the room light and I was making video which was quite flat but now I start making video uh, coming from the window light which creates some interesting depth into the uh, into my videos and when I when I show uh, this video right from this position with this light to some some fellow photographer and they was like wow that's different from where you get that light and I was the and I was like man that's my bedroom window light so again I basically evolved myself I improved myself by just shifting the camera 180 degree instead of making video in this direction and the corner of the room I just use the window light try to get interesting light and shadows so how I can make some better videos better you know content which can you which may you find interesting enough so again I use lights and shadow people nowadays they put light everywhere they don't want shadow when shadow defines the depth shadow defines the character of any face shadow defines the story in your image and people have no clue about that they just think oh I ought to focus class so everything has to be focused they don't care about the composition they don't care about the light they don't care about the depth they don't even care about the focal length changing one focal length make and break your photos I experienced few of my images and I just shifted from 35 to 50 mm that's what I did that's and there was a huge huge difference in the frame and suddenly the frame changed from 35 mm to 50 mm back in the day when I took those images like five six years ago I had no clue about that I didn't feel it but over the period of time I learned I evolved myself I pushed my limits to go further and further in learning photography especially from a static perspective and I now I look back all my previous work of life last 10 years and I see so many mistakes which I did back in the day that was normal for me but I, I want to grow and 
I keep pushing myself on daily basis. No, I have to do this. I have to learn. I have to try something new. I posted one image with a green tint. It was a landscape image and uh, with a green tint. Now, how the hell you are going to post a landscape image with a green tint? But I did. And you know what happened? It was welcomed by many people. It was an experiment from my side. And I purposely did that. And it was welcomed by many people. Because man, the way the composition I took, I immediately knew that I have to treat this scene differently in post-processing. I cannot just simply post it with some color grading. No, 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 no. I have to put different thing. I have to treat that image differently, which I did. And I put the green tint with some heavy, heavy green tint, like sea green. Yeah, yeah, sea green is the right term. So I put the sea green tint into the image. The, I completely color grade the images into the sea green because it was a seaside image. So that combines the feeling of everything of sea and sea green color and it boosts the image feeling aesthetically. So again, I played not only with composition, with light but also with color. That's what I always tell people. You must know three things, light, composition, color. If you mix them with the right proportion into any image, you can make or break your image. It's not only light and composition, the colors are, they, are, they heavily influence your image very much. And I have countless ex examples to share with you. Maybe I'll put some right now, uh, especially that green tint landscape. Maybe I'll put it. Yeah, you can see that right now. <laughs> ah, so, I don't know why people are not focusing on the aesthetic of photography, the lights, the composition. If they have that latest camera, so they should be more focusing over the aesthetics. But it's going totally opposite now. You have the technology in your hand which should help you in making iconic images. But I haven't seen anyone taking any iconic image it's like seriously or maybe we are having too many images so we are not able to find any iconic image maybe maybe not but again okay fine technology helps us taking uh, some really cool uh, wildlife photography if you are shooting 20 frames per second 30 frames per second or like you have Nikon Z9 which takes 120 frames per second whopping 120 frames per second then yeah you can nail some shots the technology is there to help us but again I haven't seen anybody using that 120 frames per second feature in the most efficient way to take some iconic image. Everybody is relying 20 frames, 30 frames, 20 frames, 30 frames. Nobody is using for 20 frames. I, I saw one image in the Olympics it was used and uh, it was our uh, last year Olympics it, the bullet was fired and uh, not last year Olympics, maybe it was this year Olympics. Last Olympics, yeah, it's just last Olympics. So the bullet was fired from the rifle and the 120 frames per second Nikon Z9 captured the bullet as right it was getting out from the rifle. So yeah, technology helped in capturing that uh, such kind of iconic image. But the ratio of those iconic images are not much. It keeps going down and down and down. Not many people are efficiently using 
the features of the camera for which they are paying for and they are using these expensive machines like regular like normal devices which can be done using old DSLR they are using the latest and greatest gear in the same capacity which they were using the old DSLR so what's the point where the mentality of the photographers progressing I guess I believe technology not only making us lazy as a photographer but they are also making us dumb we are no more creative uh, you just pick any famous name of photography any famous international photographer and just look at their last five years of work if they have taken any iconic shot in last five years you will probably not going to find any you will not because again technology making us lazy people don't realize that but I do I remember when I start using manual focus and I start using manual exposure I had so much issues in focusing I had so much out of exposure images but I learned from it it pushes me those manual focus lenses made me what I am today I don't rely on the machine machine rely on me today's photographer the newbies who are directly jumping into eye auto focus things they had they, they are having no clue how the manual focus works so if your camera get got malfunction you can't even do a single shoot you're going to lose the money you're going to lose the event if somehow your camera got malfunction or your lens got malfunction your eye auto focus not working people are going to have panic attack the photographer is going to have like nearly a heart attack. oh my oh, lens auto focus is not working now what shall I do I'm going to miss the event they're gonna call the guy can I borrow a lens come on man that's, that's not that's not the real thing you have to adopt the change you must have enough expertise inside you to handle the situation like I said I don't rely on machines machine rely on me I still shoot with manual focus lenses I still shoot with 12 megapixels I don't need 50 megapixels because ultimately I am posting on social media which needs 2 megapixel why would I have to go for 50 megapixel and people are arguing that especially the events while well, we need this expansion machine to make the event memorable for the client like what by just buying an expensive camera you are going to make your client event memorable what kind of logic is this I seriously sometimes I wish people know what they are saying they have no clue what they are saying or does it add up practically in the real world they say so much stupid things to be very honest I am sorry I am being direct right now but this is the reality anyhow I am just trying to make this point that technology really making us dumb we are not evolving we are going down more and more as a creative photographers we don't know how to think out of the box anymore and I'm talking in general I'm not talking I'm not pointing anybody specific I'm just talking in general what you see around these days that's it so what I'm seeing is what I'm saying it's very it's very disappointing actually and I don't know how to overcome or how to make people educate that if they love this field 
they have to feel it they just have to do it for the sake of money money comes and goes your art remains forever and your art defines your legacy what is your legacy just think about that if you are an event photographer if you are a commercial photographer or if you are a full time professional photographer what is your legacy i know my legacy and i am constantly daily working on my legacy making this video is part of my legacy that yeah there was a guy who uh, always talk against some event photographers i am not ag against you guys i am trying to help you guys because the doomsday is very near for you the clock is ticking and you guys have no idea what you going to you what kind of trouble you you will be in sooner or later so pull yourself out from this loop of regular workflow get creative think out of the box do something different so maybe in future you can get some different when the your current professional market will be oversaturated which already it is that's that's the whole point again the survival you you have to think out of the box in order to think you have to be creative and i am i am not see any creativity what i what whatever i'm see is just copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste reels literally copy paste like practically if one photographer make one kind of reel with certain effects very next year after two days like 10 photographers copying the same shit like seriously so this tells that even by having the latest and greatest gears in your hand you guys are not creative enough to make your own mark or to create your own legacy you like it or not but that's the reality and i'm again i am just talking in general not pointing anybody else particularly thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys able to get what i'm trying to say and uh, think about your future and think out of the box and be creative take care of yourself and i'll see you guys in future with some new stuff some new talk till then bye